Here's the GoToAssist demo. There are three modules included with GoToAssist. If you purchase them all, they're all separate price points. There's remote support, which you use for remote diagnostics and uh, um, remote troubleshooting. You use this to connect to end users' computers. Included with this is a uh, inventory software. So when you, uh, if you purchase the monitoring program, you can um, inventory computers in certain sections or departments and uh, inventory their software and that type of thing. So that's good for auditing. Um, with remote remote support, there's a lot of different features. There's Mac support. You can use in session chat, um, file transfers, remote reboot and reconnect. Um, there's team collaboration tools. The install is actually unattended, um, so once you download the installer, you can configure to do different things, but once you actually download it, you can push it out to all the computers that you want, and it'll install in the background, and then it'll be it'll show up under an inventory. So if we uh, go to the inventory here, you'll see a couple different computers on here. There should be the server, which I've installed it on, and then it'll also be on a remote computer that I have set up. Okay, so here's the um, computers I have, ins have it installed on. Um, you can see there's the client PC there. This is the uh, Windows server I have it set up on. So if we want to go ahead and connect here to the um, client computer, we can. You can see it's online. You can see some basic information about it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and connect. So here you can see we've connected with GoToAssist. There's multiple options here along the top. Um, you can support many, or I should say, you can support multiple sessions. Um, so if you're mul working on multiple computers, they'll all show up here. Um, as you can see, you can start enjoying other sessions. You can provide unintended, um, unintended computers and, and uh, support, screen sharing, transfer files. Uh, there's a bunch of different things. Service desk, this will tie back. If a customer's computer uh, thrown in a service ticket, you can go into the service desk and look and see what the issue is and close it out. So as you can see, we've uh, remotely connected to the client computer. Um, so it's pretty basic. There's not, um, not a whole lot to that. It's, it's just a uh, um, pretty basic need by many companies. So we'll go ahead and uh, close out of this since we don't need to do any more screen sharing. Up next is the um, is the service desk. So let's go ahead with the install of the service desk. Here is the install for the service desk. This service desk is where your customers and then users can log issues and you'll be go be able to go in there and track them and uh, do a lot of different things so you just want an account name this is basically the name that we use from the service desk um, you know internal emails that type of thing and then this is the actual portal name which is just the web address of where you will actually go and uh, the customers will be able to log issues and uh, the technicians will be able to get in there and, and connect to remote computers and, and see the types of different issues that are, that are going on. Let's say you want to create a new problem. We'll go up here to new problem. So this is where you're going to actually create the service ticket for the service desk. You're just going to give it a title. You can assign it to a certain technician. You can uh, link it to a uh, certain customer. We're just going to go in here and create a new customer. Here's where you create a new customer. You can assign it to a certain company. Um, you can also create a new company here. It just depends what you want to do. This is pretty wide open. Uh, support wise you can do a lot of different things with it so we're going to go ahead and save it also with this ticket you can assign like I said a priority um, problem types problem category location you got to add in attachments we're just going to go ahead here and save it there's also a section where you can link knowledge base um, 
So if it's a common issue, you can create a basically a knowledge base where people are, can go in and actually um, might be able to troubleshoot the issue themselves. Maybe that'll help keep call volume down. Here you can go into the knowledge dashboard and uh, actually create um, actual articles for the knowledge base. So here um, you can kind of see this is one of the um, changes, incidents that are actually tied to this. Um, there's just a lot of different things you can do with this service desk. You can create uh, reports with this. Um, so there's just pretty much wide open with what you can do with this tool. So next we'll move on to monitoring. With monitoring you can set up multiple things with this. You can monitor all the devices that are on the network. You can um, tie it to routers or switches or servers, client computers, um, mobile devices, There's many different things you can do. You can see the server health such as you know the load averages, the memory, the disk utilization. You can inventory everything, you can track the network, you can set up alerts. There's just a wide array of things that you can do. So we're going to go back to inventory here. This is actually going to show the computers that we have the um, remote support software on. So this will actually show the two computers we had from earlier, which is the client computer and the server. As you can see, they're both there. You can tie them into certain groups if you'd like to make it easier to manage them. Let's go ahead and add a new alert. Let's do a security monitor alert where a new device is detected. So we'll go ahead and create that alert. We can set certain parameters. Such as, you know, errors. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, so it's just up to you what you actually want. You can give descriptions, um, you can have it emailed, you can monitor certain groups or devices. There's just a whole host of um, things you can do to this. So we'll go ahead and save that alert. Here's where you can create reports. You can do a lot of different things, inventory support, um, patch management, you can monitor servers. Um, the dashboard, you can just create a report from a dashboard. You can run all these. So let's go ahead and do a report on the inventory. You can customize those reports to show different things. Um, this is just a basic report on the inventory. Um, it's going to give an overview of devices out there, um, serial numbers, um, IP addresses, MAC addresses, that type of thing. Pretty basic. So here's the pricing of the um, different modules for GoToAssist. Remote support module, six down a month with just one technician. Probably many small companies could just get by with one technician. There's really probably no need to use multiple technicians if you just have one or two help desk employees. They, they can just share one account. Um, but it gets pretty pricey if you want multiples. So if you want two, it's pretty much going to uh, double the price you're not going to actually um, save that much so if you just want one technician with the service desk um, the price comes up to 118 and then if you also want monitoring so you want 10 servers 90 devices or 25 servers 20 um, 225 devices price is really there's a big difference this is probably something not everybody needs because they're they can use a another um, another product a lot of people already have monitoring products but the upside of using their monitoring is it's an all-in-one solution so that's pretty helpful too but it's I'd say it's pretty reasonable if you actually um, go with the service desk and uh, remote support module. If you're going to do an annual um, plan, you know, almost 1200 bucks a year, which isn't too bad for everything you include. Um, there's a lot of um, just different things that they're including with this program that can save the department, uh, IT department, a lot of time and uh, resources 
working on issues. This is going to simplify everything and integrate it all into one. The knowledge base alone is going to be helpful because there's many, a lot of times there's many issues that are affecting multiple people and you can usually point to people and uh, have them look at this article and a lot of times they can figure out the issue themselves. So thanks for watching the demo of GoToAssist. 